As if you don't know what you're having for lunch, I do. <laughs> We're about to give you a recipe from the new cookbook out by best-selling author and beloved podcaster of For the Love, Jen Hatmaker. Hi, Jen. Woo! Hey, Ashley. Thank you for having me. Anytime you want to be here, girl, open invitation, okay? <laughs> So let's talk I about it. I what, heard that. Yes, let's talk about what we're getting into today. What what are we making? I see some delicious ingredients in front of you, but tell me more. You got it. Okay, I will tell you more. I have five kids, so it's just so many mouths to feed. Okay, <laughs> so I learned early on. Sometimes you need to run a handful of little trick plays to get them to eat, and this is a trick play. I'm telling you, there's not a kid in America who will not love these. These are green chili taco cups. So this is just seasoned taco meat, just like you would make it for tacos. Seasoning, I put in a can of green chilies, I put in a can of tomatoes, brown it up, easy peasy. But instead of putting them in taco shells, we're gonna put them in wonton wrappers inside a muffin tin. This is the cutest thing. So Ooh. we've got one whole little set already of wonton wrappers, meat and cheese, and then we're gonna do a double layer. So we're gonna just get another wonton wrapper and just push it down right on top. By the way, Ashley, this right here is the hardest step in this entire um, recipe. If you can press down a wonton wrapper, you can make this, <laughs> all right? You've got the skill set. Sounds See? good to me because so I am fancy. a klutz in the kitchen. So I love anything that can, you know, give me there in a snap. This is no fail. We're gonna come back in with a second layer of this delicious ground beef. Also, this is a great place to sneak in some veggies and your kids are never going to know it because we're going to cover it in cheese, Ooh, okay? So true. joke's on them. So here we come back in, cheddar cheese as much as you want. There's no such thing as too much cheese. I've never heard of it in my entire life, okay? <laughs> so we're going to do a whole, we're going to do the whole thing. So we're going to just pop this, that's it. We're going to pop this in the oven, 375, seven or eight minutes, brown, toasty, melty. And what you end up with are these little adorable individual Taco oh, cups. I love they so it. Cute. They even up, look and cute. And I you set up a little topping bar. They're so cute. Everybody would eat these. Like anybody can make these and everybody will eat them. Okay, this is dinner. It's 30 minutes I love start that. to finish and it is a piece of cake. Now look, you can make this for your kids, but I'm also envisioning just like finger food at like your next little party. I love this. Now, Jen, you are out with, you're out with a new cookbook, but you are also yeah. kind of like an open book to all of us, you know, listening to your podcast and, and just following along with you. But you got to tell me, what is it about your message that you think touches so many people? My guess is that I am just such a regular. I always say that. Like, I'm a normal. I've written a cookbook for normals. We're normal. I'm just a I'm just a person who's in her kitchen cooking for the people who live here. Same as you, same as everybody. And so I think that's it. I think we're drawn in probably because nothing here about this food or about me is fancy or fussy <laughs> or complicated. And so it's like everybody, pour a glass of wine pull up a chair, like I'm your girl. Like this is for us regular folks um, who have a lot of mouths to feed and not a ton of time to do it. Right, because these aren't really like chef inspired. These are just like real recipes, yeah. real people, us at yeah. home getting to it in our, our little kitchens. How did you learn how to cook? Uh huh. Well, I didn't know how to cook. I didn't grow up learning how to cook. I had no idea. I entered adulthood like a culinary tragedy, to be honest with you. And so <laughs> I noticed like right around the time I was 30, maybe, I was always kind of mad at my kids because they wanted to eat again, like dinner every day. And I was just <laughs> sick of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm either going to walk around being angry at kindergartners or I'm going to learn how to cook. <laughs> and so I just started teaching myself. I started watching the Food Network like in the early 2000s. And that was my culinary school. And so I just put my little self in the kitchen and I started trying new recipes. And I'm like, what does garlic look like? Let's go find out if it's in the store. And I just <laughs> trial and errored my way through it. And I figured out that I actually love to cook. 
and I love to feed people. So here we are. Oh, perfect. Early 2000s cooking network. What a time to be alive, right? <laughs> well, Jen, what a time to be alive. I got to thank you so much for being here. And this, this, you know, recipe that you just gave us, uh, everybody out there, this is your lunch. This is your dinner. This is your next, you know, right. finger food for right. your next party. Thank you so much, Jen. <laughs> Now, it, 